this car completely broke here no move clutch is slipping completely no move no back no forward i leave it there i need to walk one mile to the main traffic up there impossible no more hunting okay There you go. I have a good flashlight. Dependable. Surefire. Combat right. Okay. Mm. Here we go. Black diamond. <laughs> Can you see me? It's my saddest experience ever. I have never been sad like this. This crappy car, you know, don't move at all. Crutch is slipping. <laughs> I need to walk ahead. I don't know how far it is to the main traffic. Anyway. I need to go ahead. Okay. It's my destiny. Okay. My car broke completely. It has an automatic transmission. So it doesn't have a clutch. The broken portion was the automatic transmission itself, the helper, you know, who helped helped me from the deep mountain road, the owner of the local um, automobile repair garage said that the total replacement of the transmission uh, would be needed because that my car was 15 years old, too old and uh, no worth for the replacement uh, but I had better change my car I newly order uh, nice car, uh, maybe uh, it will reach me one month ahead. So I will uh, need to give up hunting for a fire. Uh, maybe one month. I will resume hunting uh, January. Maybe riding on the snowmobile. Anyway, uh, I have nothing to do. Mm, for a fire, but this issue maybe you will not be interested in uh, this issue very much, but it's true mm, that 3V edge uh, cannot be polished completely, it always weaves micro micro serrations but it doesn't mean anything at all but uh, it is what it is i always observe its micro serrations and uh, this device so um, i'd like to share my experience with you that's all no malicious intention or such to Bug River, anything at all. That's what I need to share with you. That's all. This A2 uh, takes uh, super polished convex edge. This doesn't, but sharpness is the same. Two thousand grit, 
First, I'll show you the sandpaper finished edge. And next, I'll show you the stropped edge. This is 3V Fox River. As you can see it, this 2000 grit paper finish, A2 is coarser. This is finer. I guess A2 is softer steel and got coarser. 3V is a harder steel and uh, uh, it kept its edge line better more durable against this sandpaper grinding. Can you see this line? you can see it here it has a bevel transition here this line It doesn't have a microage from factory, but it has a deeper geometry, fatter geometry. Yes, this geometry is absolutely deeper than A2. 3V is deeper than A2. Anyway, uh, let's drop up and uh, let's see the final edge condition after stropping. I think many people will not understand what I want to say. It has a long history about 3V steels. First one was 3V Bravo 1. It had a fat geometry, fatter than A2. Second, 3V Gani, it 
had a further geometry and a micro bevel. I did not uh, figure out its further geometry, but today I noticed it had a further geometry as well as 3V Bravo 1 and 3V Gani, which means Bark River needs further geometry always for their 3V knives. This angle from the half line steeper than A2. This line is the proof. You can see the bevel transition just in front of the recurso. On the bevel, it is very difficult for you to see it. But very close to the recurso, you can see it. It has a further geometry. Mm. Bark River always needs further geometry for their three V knives. And uh, second, some people will believe that my stropping compound, black and white, uh, don't uh, strop, don't grind this 3V steel at all. It was incorrect. These compounds do grind the 3V steel. Do strop the 3V edge. But this 3V steel property weaves micro micro serrations. It's very edge line does not go like this. It makes a very very fine, polished, smooth edge line. Very microscopic level, maybe. The magnification will be 400, 600 or more. Very high uh, magnification. Very smooth. It has a micro serrations, but it does not mean anything about its sharpness and durability. As you saw, this 3V was very durable against this coarse, not uh, very coarse, this 2000 uh, sandpaper. Very durable against it. And now, scary sharp. It is sharper. Clearly, A2 is sharper. No secondary, be secondary bevel issue, but a fat geometry issue. 3V always has a fat geometry and not as sharp as A2, always. But it's much durable, keeps its uh, sharpness uh, longer than A2. A2, higher sharpness, but gradually get duller, and one, two, three, dear, zero. 3V, not so high, this low line, but continue its sharpness, you know, cross line here. Two dear, duller on A2, two dear, three dear, four dear, to 10 deer, maybe still sharp 3V. This difference, you know. This is the truth of 3V steel.
in my opinion, in my current observations and opinions. They can differ in the future in a small probability because I have been researching about this tribute steels, tribute steel, steels, bubble one, Ghani, Fox River. Very, very heavily. So you can trust me. Buck River tribute always has a photo geometry or in some cases, uh, micro bubbles and uh, not so sharp as A2, but much uh, longer durable than A2. Thanks for watching. See you again. Uh, as I said at the beginning of this video, next hunt will be in one month ahead. Mm, okay. See you. Bye bye.